video, we're going to have a look at the motor effect. And set up here, I have got a cradle which contains uh, two magnets. And these are different to bar magnets because they've got one pole here and one pole here. And so at the moment, I've got the north pole here and the south pole here. And I'm going to pop that on there. And then I've got a very simple circuit which goes from my high current power supply, which is low voltage high current, goes from there round to this piece of aluminium foil and back to the power supply. And at the moment, that's switched off. And at the moment, uh, you can see that this bit of aluminium foil is not too tight, so it's able to move up and down a bit if it uh, experienced a force. So let's turn on the current and see what happens. Hopefully you could see that it moved down. So I'll switch off the current. It's not good to leave it on for too long as we'll get a high current, which could have quite a big heating effect. Let's watch that again. Turn it on and we can see that the foil experiences a force down. OK, now I can reverse the direction of the magnetic field by taking this out and putting it back in the other way round. And now if I position the foil back between the magnets and turn it on, we can see that the foil moves up. Let's try that again, pop it back between the magnets and it moves up. So the other thing that I can do is leave the magnets as they are. So remember that was moving up or experiencing force up. If I now swap round the connections to the power supply so that I go from to make the current flow the other way round, and now turn it on. Hopefully you can see that the foil moves down. Let's try that again. So finally, what do you think will happen if rather than connecting it to the DC power supply, I connect it to AC power supply instead? So remember that an AC power supply means that the current will keep changing direction. So let's turn that on and see what happens. And hopefully you can see that it's vibrating up and down. Let's put it up to two volts on the AC power supply. And maybe you can see that a bit better, it's vibrating up and down. 